Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, my name is Justin. It's good to meet you. I'm a vocal coach. I have personally taught over 1,000 people in 100 countries how to sing. Many of these people started out with a bad voice just like me. When I first started, I had a terrible singing voice. And so I want you to know that if you have that dream of being a singer, keep it alive. Don't let it die. Your dream is worth it. If you are willing to work hard and invest in what you want, you can get incredible results. Now, honestly, that's fewer and fewer people. So the competition is getting less and less because everybody just wants TikTok, 15 second this and that. But if that's not you, you can develop an amazing voice. And I would encourage you to go for it because it is so worth it. I believe in you. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I'm going to be freaking out. I can already tell. Man, because it's those, it's those soulful vocals for me. Hey. She's holding down that lower register so great. Oh! There's something about the melodies that are made in the Philippines. I have told you this before. Like, literally, I have songs, like Filipino songs, in my playlist. Because these melodies are so beautiful. They're so beautiful. <laughs> Do I look crazy? I probably look crazy over here, but seriously, and I sometimes I laugh because I'm like, music is such a universal language. Like, a good singer is a good singer. How cool is that? I don't even need to know the language. And I can vibe out to a song. And I can almost like understand the song because I've been doing this for so long. I can understand what the song is about just by the nuances in the singer's voice. It's like, you don't even need to know the language. I love these little descending slides. Mm. What a melody. That's nasty. I have to comment too. Notice that he's not overly opening up <laughs> his jaw. Okay, he's not overly opening up and that can be a common misconception. Now, if you open your jaw way too much when you sing, hey, what's going on? It can actually cause tension to the vocal cords. Many people think that you have to have an open jaw and a wide spread out jaw to have a, a rich sounding voice. And it's actually not the case at all. In fact, it can be the exact opposite that when you spread the mouth too wide, the sound actually gets a bit more thin and bright. Oh my. Close your eyes. Oh my. Oh my I'm in the wrong country. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. 
it, it's it's okay. We can talk about the vocals, and you know, if you watch my channel, we could dork out about their vocals for hours and hours and hours. But let's just for a second forget about the vocals and let's talk about this song and just how catchy and beautiful and relaxing that melody is. And their their voices fit so perfectly with that relaxing melody. Like I I need I'm going to add this into my playlist. And those backing vocals, listen to that. Come on. <laughs> yes. He has such a great tonal quality as he's going down into that lower range. And you could hear that lower note there. He nailed that. A lot of guys would be what's called sharp when they go down low. Sharp is above the desired pitch if this is our desired pitch. Sharp is just a little bit above. Flat would be as if he overshot it and went even lower. Well, well, many times when guys or girls even will go up to their high notes, they're going to be a little bit flat. When they go to those low notes in a phrase, they're going to be a little bit sharp. He nailed that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this reaction. I have more entertainment on the YouTube channel if you would like to check that out. If you are actually ready to improve your voice, invest in your voice, and do some real training, check out my site and join my 90-day singing transformation challenge. You can get started for free with the link in the description. All right, tons of love. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.